We are in Waternish Farm in the Isle of Skye, which is Skye's nutrient network farm. As part of the programme, we've been sampling all the fields in the farm for pH. Why did we do that? It's because by looking at the soil, you have no idea what the properties are. So what we have to do is we use a soil core and we take lots of subsamples in a W shaped of the field and then we mix that together and then we send a, a bag full of soil, a bit like this, to the laboratory in Edinburgh. Now, the type of soil you have will have an effect on how, what pH is the optimum pH for that uh, soil to have. So if your soil is very peaty and it has a pH of 5.7, you don't need to add any lime to that. However, if you have a mineral soil and at the same pH of 5.7, you would want to add about uh, six tonnes per hectare of lime to that to get it to the optimum pH. Uh, however, if you had sandy soil, you would only actually need to lime, uh, add four tonnes per hectare of lime to that uh, field, but you wouldn't need to lime it more regularly than the mineral soil. So pH is a measure of acidity and what we're wanting, the optimum soil uh, pH for growing grass and clover is between 5.8 and 6. So if we tested the soils and like quite a lot of them were in Waternish Farm, they're at a pH 5.4, you actually can't apply enough lime in the one dressing um, to get up to the optimum level. So in year one, you'd want to apply seven tonnes per hectare, and then in the following years, you'd want to apply two tonnes per hectare. And when pH is that low, it's not a one-time fix. You need to come back in, sample in the next four years, remeasure, and keep applying lime. However, if like this field, the orange field here, the pH is at 5.6, you'd only need to add seven tonnes per hectare of lime to get that to the optimum levels. And if the pH is at 5.8, you'd only need to add 5 uh, tonne per hectare. And at that pH, the grass will grow fine, but we're wanting to maintain the levels and also boost them to help get clover established. So depending where you are in the country, there's various uh, liming products you can use. If you're in the Outer Isles, they have various shale sands. This one's from Uist, and these two come from Lewis. Um, in other parts of Scotland, quarried lime is uh, an important product and these can be more magnesium limes or calcium limes. And there's also uh, granular limes that you can buy that goes through a fertilizer spreader. The key thing to remember is that all these have different neutralizing values. So that will affect how much of the product you need to apply to get the effect. And they also have different prices. So it's important to work it all out. Thank you very much.